Okay, now we're looking at conditional structure number two. The last video we looked at the do loop. Now we're looking at the for loop. Again, this is uh, the loop is actually the way to do things for a or do something for a certain amount of time. The for loop allows you to loop through a certain set of circumstances for a specific uh, specific set amount of time. So uh, here we have our code. Uh, the first the first we have a four four next. It's we have a four next, and basically that's that's all. And then we have a four next with a step involved. We're stepping, and then we can step backwards. So uh, the first of all, we're looking at the basic for loop. And we're looping for a specific set of time. Um, with the do loop, we we're looking at whether a condition was satisfied. Here we're looping. We're just saying, well, for uh, for a certain amount of seconds, or for this case, we have while the counter is between one and fifteen. We're gonna uh, show that we're gonna show the int counter at each position and by default we're going to go forward so we're going to look at the uh, look at this first one here and we have one by default i said we're going forward and that's what we're doing five six seven eight i'm just going to go through bang and then it ends okay the way you exit a four is by typing a exit for here, if if something happens, if something takes place, uh, go ahead and exit the four. If if this, then exit the four. If this is true, exit the four, and then and if. Okay, so let's say you exit the four. Just want to throw that in. It's on the blog at vbahowto.com. Uh, but I just want to show that user example. And uh, if you saw the previous video about the do loop, that's you exit the do the do loop. If something if something is uh, meets the condition, you could exit. Use that keyword exit do instead of exit for. So here we uh, incremented the counter for a specific amount of time, specific number between 1 and 15. Next we, can, we have our step for next step and uh, with by using this this here keyword step uh, we can also we can step through it uh, just show our our even numbers we can step through it to show a leap year like every we can step 4 step 6 whatever uh, here we're stepping two. So notice how my message box now and each each change in the value every time I click it's showing me the even numbers because it's stepping two. Bang. And now if I want to do four, let's say step four, I can go ahead and do then it's gonna go four, eight, twelve twelve, sixteen, and okay. So that's pretty neat. And they're pretty useful. I, I haven't really used that a whole lot, but you might find some some use out of it. Uh, what I have found a whole lot of use out of is the step, and you may want to step in reverse. Okay, backwards for twenty. You want to reverse the the counter here uh, to say twenty to one. Okay, we're going backwards now. Step minus one, and notice that as I run this, uh, twenty. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Okay, so we can go backwards or forwards. It's useful for like stepping through a string for the the end part of a string to the beginning part of the string. They use the length of the string as the as a variable for the uh, the total the total number of characters you're stepping through. So from length from the from the end to the beginning. All right.
so uh, these items are going to be in the blog and I have a little explanation for them and vbahowto.com I uh, do want you to come on out I'm going to put this code out there so you'll be able to and you're going to find out other helpful examples all 100% free uh, go out there uh, there's really a whole, whole plethora of information for you vbahowto.com make sure you rate or comment on this video if you can and be sure to subscribe to the channel you have a great great rest of the day and we'll talk to you in the next video where we're talking about records uh, so stay tuned